Hello everybody and welcome to Sunday Catch Up for Father's Day, the 19th of June. A day when we remember our fathers, our earthly fathers and give thanks to God for them, but also when we remember our Heavenly Father. But before we come on to that, we're going to sing our first hymn. It may be helpful to have the Bible reading open, which is Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 through to 34. Let's sing, Across the Lands, you're the Word of God the Father. To seek and save the lost And exchange the joy of heaven For the anguish of a cross With a prayer you fed the hungry With a word you still the sea Yet how silently you suffered That the guilty may go free You're the author of you're the Lord of every man, and your cry of love rings out across the lands. With a shout you rose victorious, wrestling victory from the grave, and descended in your way. Now you stand before the Father, interceding for your own. From each tribe and tongue and nation, you are leading sinners home. You're the author of creation. You're the So as I've said, today is Father's Day and it's really good for us to be able to be thankful to God for our fathers. Father's Day began in America in 1908, but quickly spread right across the world. And by about 1930, it was fairly widespread. Some countries celebrate on different days, but in this country, we celebrate on the 19th of June. Well, it's actually the third uh, Sunday in June each year. It's right that we say, thanks to God for our fathers for all that they do for us and that can be many many things um, just think about the way they've cared for us over the years and thinking about uh, all that they've done for us and the sacrifices they've made for us it's good to be thankful to God for them but uh, we have to be realistic about it my father passed away a good few years ago now and um, even though uh, I still miss him it's good to also be thankful for all that he did for me while he was alive. Even if he's not with me now, I can still be thankful to God for him. 
But then there's some people who, for whatever reason, their fathers are absent in their lives. Not that they've passed away, but uh, they're not with them for other reasons. And uh, even if your experience of your parent, your father, is not a good one, if they've not been the best father that you could have had, then um, you can still be thankful because if it wasn't for them, then you wouldn't be here. We've each got to have a father so that um, we are actually part of this world in which we live. And when we give thanks to God for our fathers, which is right and it's proper to do, uh, we're drawn to thanking God, our Heavenly Father, for who He is and how He works in our lives. In our Bible reading today, we find Jesus talking about our Heavenly Father and how He wants the best for us. The passage is from the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus' great nugget of teaching about how we should live our lives in the way that God would want us to. There's great uh, practical teaching in there, things all about how to deal with our anger, how to deal with relationships, keeping our promises, judging others. But there's also spiritual teaching, things like how to pray and how to rely on God for all things which is where we find ourselves today. We pick up the passage after Jesus has just finished teaching the people about money and how they mustn't make money more important than anything else in their lives. And it's so easy for us to think about money a lot at the moment when uh, we're faced with the cost of living crisis. As soon as we put on the telly or open a newspaper, it's there right in front of us. And it's easy for us to start being over worried and concerned about that. But uh, Jesus says, don't go worrying about those kind of things and making money more important than anything else. He says, you can't serve both God and money. And then he moves on to our worrying about our practical needs, which is where we find ourselves in the passage today. And he uses two examples for us to think about things that are every things that are all around us things which uh, we see every single day. Firstly there's the birds of the air and then there's the flowers of the fields. He says the birds of the air they don't store things up in barns or go about planting and worrying about where their food is going to come from because their heavenly father cares for them and looks after them. And similarly with the uh, with the, uh, the, the flowers of the fields. How beautiful they are, all the many different colours, the wonder of the creation that God has provided us with. Well, he says that even King Solomon is uh, not dressed as beautiful as those flowers of the field. So how much more will God our Father clothe us and care for us? So don't go running around worrying about money, worrying about uh, our food, where that's going to come from, or worrying about our uh, clothes and where they're going to come from. We're told in the passage that's what pagans do, the people who don't believe in God. That's the way they live and we're to be different. Instead, we're told there in that Bible passage, so your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. So instead of worrying about all that stuff, be concerned about the kingdom of God and he will provide you with all you need. Our Heavenly Father, the perfect Father, knows all of our needs and provides for them. We need to just concentrate on his kingdom and we will find ourselves changing and being shaped into the people that he wants us to be, displaying his characteristics, characteristics like fairness, and justice and concern for others. We'll be different people and we will be providing for other people from the great store of things that God has given us. We'll be making sure that everything is evenly distributed and that nobody goes hungry and that they don't need to be worrying about where their clothes come from or where their food's going to come from. It's right and it's proper for us to think about our earthly fathers. It really, really is to give thanks to God for them and to be uh, praising him for all that they've done for us. But it's also right for us to give thanks to God, our Heavenly Father, 
and that's what we should be doing not just on one day a year like we do for Father's Day but every single day of the year giving thanks to God for all he's done for us and all he provides for us and he does that for us because he loves us he loves us for who we are it doesn't matter what we've done or where we've come from whether we're rich or whether we're poor God loves us and he loves us because he made us we're the pinnacle of his creation he made all the world and everything in it the birds and the flowers he cares for them and he cares for us when he'd finished making the whole of creation and he made mankind people like you and me he said that he looked and it was very good and if he said that then he will care for us and show his love for us by providing everything for us and he's done that in providing Jesus his son to die upon the cross for us to give his life so that we can be free and enter into that full relationship with God that he wants for each and every one of us God our Father loves us and cares for us and we can trust him to provide us for all of our needs remember what it said be concerned above everything else with the kingdom of God and he will provide for all your needs what a lovely passage that is to be thinking about how much God loves us and how we can be entering into that relationship with him and uh, receiving all the benefits that he wants to pour upon all of his people he cares for us and he loves us and we can be thankful to him for that so let's pray together now father god we thank you for our earthly fathers and for all they've done for us even if we're not able to be in relationship with them for whatever reason we thank you for them but we also thank you for our heavenly father you god father god the perfect father who our earthly fathers can never match up to we thank you lord that you've given us everything even your son in jesus name we pray amen well this has been sunday catch up it's really good to have been with you today we're going to sing our final song now how deep the father's love for us the song which reminds us about all he's done for us in sending his son jesus how deep the father's love for us let's sing
have paid my rent.